hi guys i hope you are all doing well let's see today's question so today's question we are taking this up from the topic of determinants and matrices and if i talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic the question tells us to find out how many distinct real roots are present for the determinant whose elements are sin x cos x cos x the second row has cos x sin x cos x and the third row has cos x cos x sin x so we have been asked to find the number of distinct real roots for this determinant equals to 0 in the interval minus pi over 4 till plus pi over 4 and if i talk about the answer choices that we have been given here the options are the first option is 4 the second answer choice is 1 the third answer choice is 2 and the fourth answer choice given to us is 3 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us let's try to solve this question further before starting off with the solution i would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on every day basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them let's see the solution for the question now so the question if i see it tells us that number of distinct real roots we have to find for this determinant equals to 0 in this interval so if i try to solve this first i have with me this entire determinant which is sin x cos x cos x then i have in the second row cos x sin x cos x so sin x in here and in the third row i have sin x in the third place first two terms are cos x and we have been given the determinant of this is equal to 0 now if i use some row transformations to make my elements easier for us to understand i can just apply the idea that i can change r1 to r1 minus r2 so i will get sin x minus cos x here also i'll get cos x minus sin x and here i'll get 0 so if i apply that idea for the first row sin x minus cos x cos x minus sin x and 0 and if i apply the same rule for the second row also where i say r2 changes to let's say r2 minus r3 so cos x minus cos x 0 this becomes sin x minus cos x and this becomes cos x minus sin x <clears throat> and the third row i am writing as it is so cos x cos x sin x is equal to 0 now if i try to further see this idea sin x minus cos x here also if i want to write it in terms of sin x minus cos x i can just take minus sin out sin x minus cos x minus out sin x minus cos x zero the second row if i see it is zero already this is sin x minus cos x and the third element if i take minus sin common i get sin x minus cos x and the third row if i see it is cos x cos x and sin x so cos x cos x and sin x this entire determinant is equal to 0 now from this idea if i see and choose to take some things out sin x minus cos x it's present in the first row so from first row i can take out sin x minus cos x out from second row also i can take out sin x minus cos x out so once i take the two sin x minus cos x out what is left in the determinant is 1 minus 1 0 0 1 minus 1 and cos x cos x is equal to 0 further if i try to solve this idea i get sin x minus cos x the whole square <clears throat> and if i try to figure out the value of this determinant i get 
sin x minus minus cos x. So it becomes sin x plus cos x. Minus minus one, so plus one. Zero into sin x is zero and minus minus one into cos x, so plus cos x again, plus zero is equal to zero. So if I figure out, I get sin x minus cos x the whole square. And here I get sin x plus cos x plus cos x. So sin x plus two cos x equals to zero. Now we have been given the interval also that x should lie from minus pi over four to plus pi over four. Let's check it. So if I see when this and this, the product of two brackets is equal to zero, I get two results, either sin x minus cos x, the whole square is equal to zero or sin x plus two cos x equals to zero. That gives me, if I equate this, I get sin x minus cos x equals to zero taking square roots. So I get sin x is equal to cos x. That basically gives me tan x is equals to one. And from the interval of minus pi over four to plus pi over four, my values of tan theta, if I see, The values of tan theta for this intervals go from minus one to plus one. So it basically becomes plus one when x is pi over four. So I get from this only one solution that x can be pi over four. So I get one root from this expression. Further, if I try to solve this expression also, let's see what I get. So I get sine x is minus two cos x. That is tan x equals minus two. And when I get tan x equals minus two, tan theta being negative, because it is minus two. Further, I understand that we already discussed when you have been given this interval, the values of tan theta lie from minus one to plus one. So it cannot be minus two. So here I get no value of x, no value of x, which will give you answer as minus two. So from here, you don't get any root. So this does not help us to solve the question further. And once I solve this, I got one root that is x equals pi by four. So if I see how many distinct real roots we are getting from this question, it is basically one. So we get the answer for the question as option B. So B becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.